When Lester Grimm was 15, he went on his first date with a classmate named Paulina. They saw the rules of the game by Jean Renoir and ate at a nice Italian restaurant in the village. Lester paid with his own allowance. And when it came time for the goodnight kiss, he didn't have the nerve to do anything. Two more dates of a similar nature followed. And then, at a classmate's party, Lester found her kissing a 24-year-old club promoter. This incident, being Lester's first real romantic experience, had a deep impact on him. Subsequent girlfriends were subjected to informal inquiries concerning their fidelity, or even more disturbing, their past before him, without him. I realize people are laughing at me. Because In college, well. senior year, Lester's girlfriend of nine months, Ariana, enjoyed comparing Lester to her previous lover. Not so much obsessed as curious, that was his distinction. Lester followed Ariana's ex-boyfriend around for several nights. Lester hid in bushes, ducked behind poles, as if he were a private detective shadowing a suspect. The investigation uncovered nothing, and his girlfriend left him because he was never around. Lester blamed Paulina. But girls mature quicker than boys, he'd been told. Hi, Scott. And then there was Ramona. Wait, hold on a second, okay? That's the other line. Hello? Hold on when Ramona second. had time to assess her life, she saw herself as one of those girls you read about in fairy tales, who saves wounded birds or takes in homeless people around the holidays. Of course, she wouldn't do anything of that sort, but she did have trouble saying no. And as a result, wounded friends called her and she took on more than she could handle. Um, hello? Scott. Okay. Okay. All right, bye. Hello? Who, who is this? Jenny. This is the story of Lester and Ramona, 